action. You're in the helicopter, it's loud. You got your fins on, your wetsuit, mask, snorkel, ready to go. And then you jump. Danger. You can hear the ice hissing and cracking all around you. Adventure. When you cross the equator, you have to ask Kim Neptune's permission to become a shellback. You're listening to Sea Story. Episode 47, Ballooning. Hi, my name is Sherwin. I am an electrician's mate. I'm from New York, and this is my sea story. I was stationed on the USS Oscar Austin, and we were pulling into Germany. My friends and I, we really like exploring, like to do uh, cool things, trying out different types of uh, food or like going on different types of trips. So as we were in Germany, we wanted to go to hot air ballooning. We've never done it before, and we thought it was going to be the most amazing thing in the world. I like to do crazy stuff, so like I've done skydiving before. Um, I really want to do a deep sea diving. I've done scuba diving. I like to explore. Hot air ballooning was something I actually wanted to uh, get off my bucket list. So we Google it and uh, we found one. It was like three hours away. We were like, okay, cool. We have the entire day. And we found a taxi. We were like, hey, we want to go here. The guy was like, okay, cool. And it was a long drive. And we finally got there and we were like, huh, where are we? We were looking around, we were like, hmm, this place seems quite interesting. As we were getting on the taxi, we only had US dollars. And the taxi driver was like, no, we're not taking that, we only take euros. Thankfully, one of my friends actually had euros to give the guy. That started off badly because the taxi driver was really, really upset. And we were actually expecting him to wait on us to make sure that the place is okay and all this stuff. So we got out. He drove away. We look to the left, and there is this big old house, and we're not seeing any hot air balloon. So we walked up to the house, and we saw a doorbell, and it said, hot air balloon. We said, okay, cool. We pressed the doorbell. Nothing happened. So we walked around. We looked in the backyard, and there was an old hot air balloon there. Pressed the bell again. Nothing happened. Maybe no one is home. So we tried to call the guy. Guten Tag. Call the guy, he only spoke German. We didn't understand anything he was saying. So we walked over to the right and there's a neighbor and thankfully she spoke English and she was like, um, he's not home right now. And we were like, oh my God. We were looking around now, we don't know anyone. The woman spoke English, but it was like, just enough English for you to actually understand. It's like, well, I guess no ballooning today. I don't think that's somewhere you would go hot hair balloon because it was literally like a house and a backyard. Maybe it was like people in the area, maybe they go hot hair ballooning maybe once in a while. I was the one who actually suggested hot hair ballooning because I wanted to do it and my friends usually go along. There's nothing, like it was literally the country. We have to find a cab or something. There's no cab. It's just old houses and just people there. So we walked, we walked, we walked, and we finally stopped at a ice cream shop. And I had this young lady and her father. And we were like, hey, uh, do you have a taxi number? The daughter spoke some English. She called a cab, but the cab came, and then he drove away. So we're going to walk. We've been walking for at least an hour. We were walking, walking, walking. We finally found like this little, it was like a, a restaurant area where like they had a bunch of shops. We went into the shop. We was like, okay, cool. We need someone to speak English. So we found a lady. She was a waitress and she spoke some English. We were like, hey, mama, could you please call a taxi? It was getting to be, I think, 1800. So we were like, man, we got to be back by midnight. And we're like, we don't know where to go. Signal was horrible. And our phones were just about to die. It was bad, it was bad. Definitely I would say plan better. Make sure that you find out where stuff is. Call ahead prior to, <laughs> and don't uh, just go there. Maybe I would say two hours later, we got a cab and he drove us all the way down. And uh, that was my hot air balloon experience. 
it was fun though. I mean, it was really a fun experience, one that I can definitely laugh at. In the Navy, I've gotten a chance to travel the world. When I'm older, I want to have a story to tell instead of saying, hey, I was at a bar and I don't remember. Walk with your camera or your phone, take lots of photos, go out and explore, and have fun. To hear more stories like mine, subscribe to Sea Story today. Coming next. It's a battle. It takes an incredible amount of energy to fight through those Gs. Sea Story is brought to you by America's Navy. Learn more at Navy.com. <laughs>